guys, Free Freak 59 as you can see by task video guys, we do have a nice squad builder today, and we're going to be taking a look at a team that costs about 10,000 coins on both consoles, but if you want to clarify the price, I'll put the actual price, the complete um, accurate price in the banner below, which you'll be able to see, has the Xbox 360 price according to Foothead, and the PlayStation 3 price also, and if you're on the next gen, you can adapt that to your console, because basically it's the same market. Um, I've actually pre-ordered a PlayStation 4, but in Australia they're completely sold out and the next shipment is coming next month in mid to late January I do believe, so hopefully I can get my hands on it as soon as possible and we can make some videos on there. And let's basically get into the squad now, it's a squad builder of three leagues, so you could call it a hybrid, it's a hybrid of the Liga Portuguesa, the Serie A and the Barclays Premier League. And let's get into this team now, the first player is going to be the Brazilian and FC Porto player. Helton, okay goalkeeper all around, and you might be thinking, why do I have a trade offer and no games played with this team? I've actually played games with the team, and I actually bought the players, but I transferred them over to another account, because I had to do something on this account, so in the meantime, I just transferred them over, so that's why it says I haven't played any games, but I actually have, and you'll see in the goals um, at the end of the video that I have, so let's move on to the right back now, and it's going to be Danilo, a very... Nice player as you can see, very surprising actually, I didn't um, take too much notice of this guy, I actually sort of forgot about him. I do remember he used to be a centre midfield player in FIFA 12 and he had some nice stats back then. And he's also got an upgrade in his skill moves because back then he only had like two and he used to play for Santos I do believe. Um, but he has some very nice stats, sort of like a Micron card. And we move on to the centre back of this team and it's going to be the French player Mangala, getting the two links from the FC Porto players, and he's a very good player, and I was actually very surprised, my friend the Lollipop had told me that this guy could supposedly get an inform next week, um, but at a left back position, so it would be pretty nice if that inform comes out, and I'd be delighted to try it, and we move on to the other centre back, you probably already saw him, it's going to be Maxess from AC Milan, an okay player all round, um, his pace doesn't feel actually that bad, how it says on his card, feels more like 73 or 74. Left back for this team is going to be another AC Milan player, and it's going to be constant. Okay, left back all around. I would have actually liked if there was a better left back in the Serie A, but unfortunately there isn't really anyone you can choose from. You only have Radu in this guy, and I do believe if I include Radu in this team, uh, Mexus may have not got 9 cam. But anyway, he did okay all around. Um, and the centre midfielder moving on to the next player on the left hand side is going to be Nangolan, a decent player all around, scored me a goal, um, you can probably see there but it doesn't show for my club, but this guy was pretty good all around and I really enjoyed playing with him. Moving on to the other centre midfield player and it's going to be Paul Pogba, a fantastic talent for the future and a great player for Juventus. And he was um, a great player to play with, and I absolutely love playing with this guy in FIFA 13. One of my favourite cheap players, and this year, he is one of my favourite cheap players again. And the last player for the midfield is going to be Suzuko from um, Newcastle United. You could actually get a different player here if you wanted. You could get Kabai if you desired um, a player with like you know better passing stats and all that. But I decided to get Suzuko because, in my opinion, he's better all around. Um, compared to Kabai, but he has quite a big weakness, which is basically his weak foot and skill moves, so you have to be mindful of that when you're buying with this, uh, playing with this guy, not buying with him. And we move on to the right forward of this team, and it's going to be the five-star Sealer, a very fun player to play with, and it's going to be Ben Arthur. I absolutely enjoyed playing with this guy, very skillful player, and very nice to play with. I actually got him with the Dead Eye Chemistry style, and we move on to the striker of this team, and it's going to be Benteke, overpowered Benteke. Um, just look at that freaking uh, games played to goal scored ratio that he has had for every single club. It's almost, as you can see, one goal per game, and he was an okay player all around, um, quite overpowered. I wouldn't actually call him okay, he was pretty good. Uh, I liked how his weak foot, it did feel very good in game, and his shooting is very underrated in my opinion. And we move on to the last player, and it's going to be the left forward, Mertens. He's actually default, I do believe, as a left mid, and he was okay all around. Um, I wouldn't say that he was better than Ben Arthur, but he did his job in the team and was pretty fun to play with. Good work rates, as you can see. I've got a little tip for you guys. If you want to make this team cheaper, 
I would actually um, convert the left forward cards by yourself, so buy the left wing to left forward cards uh, manually, so basically go pick them up for like 150 or how much they go for, because I do believe this card normally goes for um, about 2000 I do believe at the left wing position, and then at the left forward position he's going for like 2.5k, you could easily save 300 to 400 coins, and that's basically the way you know you have to trade. Um, you got to take every little profit that you can make. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little tip I th threw in there. Also, if you want to see any more trading videos, trading tip videos, leave a comment below and I'll get to them. I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day. Enjoy the goals. Every time we speak, we're not changing